new version here. Let's play this in full. There is sound. And I saw your email with the, uh, the changes. Now, to be honest, I had to go back because it's been a while. And I had to look at what we had before. And you have a shorter beginning. It's not that much shorter, though. I think you can, you could trim it more. If you feel like it's too long, um, I can pick some places where we can trim it. But that section feels fairly similar. And then the jump. So in this one, we have a turn like that kind of a flippy thing sideways okay and then this one is more of a jump back like this now it's very subjective when it comes to um you know like interesting posing like they're just to me they're just different i like them both i didn't mind what we had before i can all kind of depends what you're shooting for in terms of how she feels and how we are supposed to feel when we see this so that side i mean you might argue maybe that hand she seems a bit troubled and she has some issues is that maybe potentially too posed out with one arm one arm down like one up one down i could see that why not i do like this though i do like the hands the hands towards her chest so that they can come out like this Versus this one. That's definitely cool too with this. But then watch out. We are a bit of a symmetrical pose. That is definitely cool. It's very, very bendy back there. And then we are already in this pose. I don't know. Again, to me, this is all very subjective. I didn't mind the other one. I could see a mix where you would do this. But then as she does this, if she, if, if she could... Maybe I should change the color here. She could bring her arms back to her chest. I just like that. That close together to then ba -ba, open her arms into this. I thought that was a nice contrast there. Um, in terms of time. I mean, you could just start here. Frame 24. Where it's immediately into we're upset. Versus getting there. If you really want to shorten things. So it could be 24 start there that's cool and then because that works with the music too i mean yeah just cut that i don't think we have an effect on the music and i think i don't think i mean you could speed up here maybe i don't, I don't feel like you need to cut stuff out there but yeah i mean that's mainly that that was to me the main thing i I'd be curious to see this blind out because I want to see. I know I need some more breakdowns in that run there. But as you go from the big extensions there here to here, it basically goes back and forth. I'm just curious about this section when she's here. How this is going to feel. I think it's going to be okay. Moments like these might be a bit poppy there. If you spline this, she might be a bit poppy. But I do like there's a bit of. You know, insecurity there, and the wind, and all that good stuff. But I think her face is good. This is also what I would love to see splined out with how the dragon comes through. I think it's going to be okay. It still feels fast. That's my only concern about this, seeing this again. How she holds on to this, and like on this, she would be here. <laughs> Her legs would be here, like a massive stretch. That's my only concern. Could we, and bring that music down, could we find a way to keep the energy while not making this too crazy? Now, then again, I've seen this in movies before. It's not like, you know, if this was live action, right? This is a, 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 an actual actor, and this is your CG dragon. It would feel like that person would just die. Like the arms would be just pulled out of the sockets. CG can get away with it, but I still wonder if that could be something slightly slow it down just curious that's cool though i like all of this there's a bigger drop than before i think you could do something where once you're up here like 
that section into that drop. There's just something about this drop feeling straight down. I wanted this because something, not that you have to do like a crazy thing like that, but something a little bit. Even if you go into this, once we run here, as it changes, there's still that momentum of going this way. As in, you do that, go back, wants to stop and focus on the head, but then the, the lower body continues so that by now the head is here, but then we have the chest and then the butt here so that this area stays, but the backside continues so that we are in this pose here. We're actually here with the tail, the, the, the butt is here, chest is here, head is here. And in that way, it can then drop where the butt stays put, but then the chest and head is down. So it's kind of like from here, head, chest, butt to that. So it, it, it continues to have this kind of feel rotation into, into this. I think as a, as a fine tuning thing, that would be something. The timing's okay. It's like, it's cool. Like it's, I really am not, I'm not really concerned about your animation skills and timing and everything. It's just, again, also my, my critique right now is also very subjective. But it could be something to explore, so it doesn't feel like we just go up, stop, and then we're straight down. Get a little bit of something in there. And that's kind of that. Curious that once we spline this out, how much is it going to go up and down? Like from here, like that little guy. Is he going to be holding on to it and then the, the butt is up and with the tail is up? Or are you saying that it's really holding on to this? It could, but then I would curl up the tail around the neck and maybe... The midsection bobs up and down, so we feel that it's not just glued to her. It's nice here. <sighs> like, wow, this is super cute. I love that. <laughs> and all of this is great. But you might even allude to it a little bit here, where the middle part goes up a bit. Let me see. Because here you have it raised. This is where I would flatten it. And then on the way down, that's when I would have it up. Boom. But yeah, that would be one thing. It's super cute though. I love how it holds on. That's all great. It's mostly that. And then the facial, it's pretend you start here. I think that's okay. She's a bit this way. I don't know if you might have to turn the head a bit more. So it could be something where the eyes are slightly here. And it's only because she is looking this way. And then as the little guy goes forward, like there's nothing there. And I wish during this section, we would have a dart. So she, she starts following it. But that would mean that you would have to go backwards and then look more this way. So I'm mentioning it. So you might have to turn the chest over. So it's not like an over cranked head. But then that way the head can be the nose. Be almost, I want to do front. Just enough so that we don't lose this pupil in here. Picky, picky stuff. But yeah, I mean, I still like the rest. Um, if you prefer that, that's totally fine. I would still love to get those arms somewhere in for a more dramatic opening. But maybe, you know, for you, this is the dramatic part, which is really cool. I like this. And then it's just, I mean, you could do something where maybe here... As we finish here, she starts to fold her arms really close to her chest, the side. And then the opening contrast is them being close together to opening where her arms are maybe out here. I know it has a nice C curve and I, wanna, I don't want to break it into something like that. But I'm looking at something where we can have closed arms to open arms. But again, that's subjective. It's, to me, it's, like, it's not like that it's wrong. I just like what I had, what you had before, but that is totally up to you to decide. And that's kind of that. I still love the idea. I love the whole set and everything. It's it's a cool combination of of a human running with this action in there, with a change of pace, with a jump, and then a creature, and then that contact in the flight path. It's just a really cool setup for a shot. So yeah, I don't know. That's it from me. Thanks. All right. There's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.